Back you, baby. When I came back, I'm the conspiracy theory Don Dada. Nobody does conspiracy theory better than me. I was doing that shit since 1989. I know all the conspiracy theories. I understand all of that yeah. shit. And when I went back to Newark, New Jersey, Raz wasn't supposed to win. He wasn't the, the, the insider guy. He was the outsider. He was the radical. He was the, the, the machine, which is a democratic machine, is run by certain groups of people that don't necessarily look like us. And the power is on the county level. Mm. And they did not want to see Raz Baraka win. Raz Baraka won because he had the people. He organized the people. The people stood up. He didn't have the money. His opponent had $4 million to run. Mm -hmm. Raz didn't have $4 million. He didn't have a million dollars. But he had the people. And because he had the people, he's been the mayor now for the last three terms. So, did he so go to? He went to Howard, didn't he? Went to he? Howard University. Well, 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 okay, so pause right there. <laughs> pause right there. What's when up, you go, When you go to a school like that, four million, that's worth more than $4 million. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I know Ross Baraka because he had the rappers speaking out, mm -hmm. the niggas that are influential at Howard. You remember when, when he was running, he didn't have the people behind him? Nah, he, no, he didn't have those people. He had the people of Newark, New Jersey behind him. So he didn't have alumni nah, from he, HU that was fucking with him? I mean, yeah. So he, they came later? No, no, no. I mean, he, you always have your relationship. Mm -hmm. you, know, you always got your people who, okay. believe, who believe in what you're doing. Who, who understand who you are as a person. Now remember, when Raz was at Howard, Raz started an organization called Black Neo Force. They took over the student build, the, uh, the, the admin building at Howard because Howard wasn't functioning in the best interest of the student body. Mm -hmm. So Raz organized his folks and they took the building over for like weeks until they got what they wanted. He's always been a super radical. When you understand who Amiri Baraka Sr. is and what he meant to... You know, those, uh, it was after civil rights, but just late 60s, early 70s, yeah. organizing Black Arts Collective, um, doing the first black political conference in, mm. I forget what state, in, in, in Indiana in 1972, bringing all these, like, he, he's not an insider. He's not with the machine. The machine in Essex County did not want to see this loud mouth black brother speaking black. They didn't want to see him be the mayor. They were backing another dude named Shavar Jeffries, who was a, you know, he was an inside guy. He was the politics was, you know, I don't want to throw nobody under the bus, but you get what I mean, mm -hmm. right? And he won because he got more votes. He organized black people to believe in what he was doing, and they went out and voted for him. You know, um, there were certain high-level celebrities that went to Howard as well, and they wouldn't come out and support a Raz until it was like kind of a shoo -in. They waited uh -huh. till like the final hour to oh, jump okay, on board. Okay. It wasn't like Wait and see him. And, uh, he couldn't. They wouldn't they put no money up. You know, money talks bullshit. Walk. Well, they wasn't putting no guess money that up. Final hour was, was was what I saw. Uh, because, diesel fuel. <laughs> yeah, they, I mean, I should know from the music business. They always wait. Oh, and, and be I was there, but I thought that they was there from the beginning because uh, they was an alumni and all that. Nah, nah, nah. I, I, didn't, I didn't know it was a nah, final I mean, hour. Like I said, you know, cer certain folks understood what it was, certain folks in the music industry, but who are solid. You know, they, they solid. They you know they stand on principle. They always stood on principle. They understood what it was, but in terms of the celebrities, nah, they didn't come to the table till like way later. I was right there. I was one of the only, if you want to call me a celebrity, trying to make things happen, not just for his campaign, but for 24 Hours of Peace, for the people of Newark, New Jersey, my brothers and my sisters in the street. Like, that, that wasn't a sexy look. That wasn't... You know, we bitches, hoes, drinking, nah, 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 we doing that. We uplifting, nonviolence, get your education, do right. Like, we ain't trying to hear that shit. What makes KRS one so, so so special? Nah, man, Chris, knowledge reigns supreme over nearly everyone. He got them bars. Mm. You know, he's a man of principle, and he don't sell himself out. You know, he, you know, his stance, what he believes in, what he knows, shines through in the music. And he give it to you live and direct. His stage show is second to none. Like nobody wants to go on after KRS One. Like that's just I don't know what else you want to hear, but he's just that dude. So why do you think that um he hasn't become more political, like ran for office or something with all the thoughts and the outspokenness that he's had about knowing the past and the present, why you think that he, he, he hasn't taken it to the next level and maybe gone to office? Or... I, I wouldn't rule that out. Mm -hmm. So 
Mm. In 2021, we did 24 Hours of Peace. I had been begging Chris to come participate in 24 Hours of Peace the whole time, right? But schedules didn't match up. He was traveling around. And, you know, I don't fuck with these politicians. Huh? You know, I don't do this political shit. You got me coming out here trying. I'm like, no, I'm telling you, Rise Barack is different. He's us, Chris. You got to come out and support. He came out. He did 24 Hours of Peace. The shit blew his mind. He saw the 10,000 people out there. We talk of peace, love, unity, safety, having fun. The mayor is standing right there. He was like, okay, he was impressed. We had KRS come back a week later to have a sit down with the mayor. And that turned into the Temple of Hip Hop, which is a school in Newark, New Jersey. KRS one brought the Temple of Hip Hop, got a state of the art facility in Newark, New Jersey, teaching hip hop culture. How long did that take to materialize? About a year and a half, two years. That's fast. That's fast. Yeah, nah, the, the mayor was about it, about it. Like he's, Raz is different. He just understands who we are. His father was a poet, a poet laureate, used art and culture, jazz and poetry to affect our community, understands the power of art and culture. He did a spoken word piece on Lawrence, Miss Hedge, um, Education of Lauren Hill. Right, so he understands how to influence our people using art and culture. KRS One is the epitome of that. So it was like really like a marriage made in heaven. Raz I got an idea for you and Raz in the city of Jersey, huh? A Jersey hip hop museum. Mm. Just all of Jersey, the Jersey culture, all the artists. Mm. Like document that. Yeah. Yeah. Know, to extend the legacy of yeah. all the political offices, uh -huh. offices yeah. and also, too, to really start building the community of what this culture is, man. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Thank you for that. I'm a runway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll give Just you Just have us there to, oh, at yeah. the christening. Oh, without a doubt, without mm -hmm. a doubt. 